Hi, this is Joe with Crick Flex. Um, I'm just going to do a real quick video here um, because I've had numerous people ask me how I do a screenshot. And I explained numerous times where I say get your mat and make sure your mat is very small because if I were to do a screenshot of this Hello Kitty is a color book page. If I did a screenshot around her right now, all of that grid would also show. So what I do, I'm going to show you a couple things that you can do because you want to know also when you take these things, can you layer them or can you do them print and cut all in one? You can layer them and when you do screenshots, they're not going to be color, let's say. Um, when you pull them all to your mat, this I want to be left in one piece. I'm going to hold down my shift key and hit on all of these so that I can take this, whoops, I did, let me try this again, hold down the shift key, click on the pieces that I want all in one, and then I'm going to move this, and when I get it down here, I'm going to highlight it and group it, because I want it to cut out these eyes, because when I cut this out, well wait, I'm going to get to that when I show you um, how I'm going to do a screenshot. There's the hand, and here's the part of the ear. This is all going to be white. Um, I'm going to just pull these pieces over here, and again, this is what I'm talking about when I say get off of your mat, because if you're on the mat, you're going to get the lines in the grid. So pull your items off, and then I'm going to go back and color them, and I'm going to show you what I do. Um, I'm working on a Mac. Um, if you're working on a PC, I hope you know how to you know how to do a screenshot. If which I forgot to show you before I pulled these all in one, um, I'm gonna minimize my mat now. Well, it didn't minimize. I mean, if I pull it over here, I can take these pieces, and if I group them all together, all and pull it, all my pieces will be uniform in size. So when you do something that's in layers and you can't figure out how to keep them in size so when you put them together that they fit, when you pull them to your mat and separate them, again, this is a color book page. I just grabbed an a, a image that's easy to do to show you because these pieces come out absolutely perfect. And I pull it large. And for me, on a Mac, to do a screen print, I, print, I don't know how many are working on a Mac, but it's Shift, Command, and 4. And see this little thing over here? This is, tells me it's a screenshot. Now, what I want to do is um, I'm going to start my box and box that whole thing in, and I'll let it go, and now I'll show you. Let me get rid of this. I don't need this. I don't need... This I'll just minimize and move this back over. And right here is my screenshot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new page. And I'm going to pull this screenshot over and look at that. Now after I do a screenshot, notice how it's all in one. Then what I'm going to do is pull it over away from the grid again. I call this the work area, and it's not really the mats, but whatever. Then I'm going to take and highlight, and I'm going to take the high pass filter off, and I'm going to, you know, you know what? I don't think this one um, was dark enough. I can tell it's not dark enough. Um, let me put the high pass back on. Yeah, it's not going to work that way either. Uh, let's see here trying to trace and cut it, but the problem is, is it didn't screen print is dark. Normally when I do something, it's it's darker. This isn't showing up very dark. Let me see how dark I can get it. Might get dark enough to and it's not quite here on the foot. I'm gonna pull it down a little bit and pull it over here a little tiny bit. It may be dark enough. We're going to soon find out. I left the high pass on. And let me try and see 
if I trace, I want to trace, not our outer edge, I want the entire trace because I want it to, to copy all the pieces. And it did. There you go. That is doing a screen print. The screen print will be like this. I copy and do a trace, okay? And it did. It did it perfect. Even though this was really, really light, normally my screen prints aren't that light. It depends on, I don't know why this one's so light. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Look at what it did. It, it, now, if I take this, these are all grouped together. So the first thing you're going to want to do is release the compound path. Now again, on the Hello Kitty's face, I would highlight that, hold down my Shift key, and highlight all these pieces. Whoops. Let me go back. And I just went back. Oh, I didn't mean to copy it. And I'm going to um, group those so that when I move it around, I accidentally duplicated it. I don't know how I did that, but... Now, if I want to go in here and color, this I want, I'm just coloring it black because I want to make sure that I know this is going to be a part that's going to cut out. I have the nose here. Yeah, let's say I'm going to make a pink. And this I know is white for the ear. I know the hand is white. Um, I'm going to make this whole bow a polka dot. I don't care. I'm just grabbing anything here. Um, I believe this was a hand. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to go back and paint that white. I'm going to show you here how I you how the layers would look. If you cut this out, you would cut this out of black. Oh, all of them came out duplicated. Hmm. I don't know how that happened unless I accidentally hit duplicate or if when I did the cop screen print, it may have automatically. I don't know. I've never had that happen. And I imagine um, that I have... A loyal Tammy that watches these videos and always has the answer so she may know why it did everything double I don't know why but I'll just I mean no big deal just get rid of it and then this is the outfit and I'm going to take and I want that the same color as the blue of the polka dot so I'm going to use my dropper maybe there we go and there, I'm going to get rid of all of this. I don't need any of that. But I just wanted to show you, and I don't know on a PC if you do screen print. I don't know how you do it because I've not done it. Um, I think I used, I don't remember. I haven't, I haven't, I don't know if I ever did this when I was working on a PC. I don't remember. So I apologize, but I don't, don't remember. And I believe I already grouped this, but it might have been the other one. If I didn't, I shall group it now. Because folks ask me if you can cut things out in layers. You can cut things out in layers or you can do a cut and print. You can do anything you want. That's the one um, awesome, awesome thing about the the silhouette, cameo silhouette, is you can do whatever you want. Didn't mean to do that. You can, if you wanted to do a print and cut, if you want to do layers, um, because some people like all the layers. Now, Whenever I make any Hello Kitties, I always um, do Hello Kitty in um, layers because she is so, so incredibly easy to do. And with the silhouette, I really like because I can still do the print and cut. So if I want to put all my layers on one sheet of paper and just do a print and cut, I can. But... Yeah, I don't know why that did that. That's just really strange to me. Must be because, I don't know. Why do I keep trying to figure out when I have no clue why it did that? But I'm sure Tammy will know. Anyway, there you go. There, if you want to do a print and cut or take it apart and do it like a regular die cut. But again, screenshot and it will come out like this. And then you can go ahead and color it, layer it, cut it separately any way you want. But again, on a PC, it might be just screen print. And I think what might happen on a PC is I think it will print your entire screen, which would mean you would get all of this, these the, the color palette. So I guess I would make sure that was closed. But you would get this matte. 
So that's why I say I would minimize the mat as much as you could and then take your image. Um, this is what you're really going to want to stand out. I, um, but you don't want this mat in there. That's all I can say. So again, to screen print, I'm going to do it one more time on mine. Here's my screen print and I can just box in what I want. I can hear the click like a camera and there it is. Now that one, yeah, maybe um, I just don't know why it's coming out so light. Tammy, Tammy, I know if you're watching this, you'll know. As I drag it bigger, it gets, seems to get darker. So I guess it doesn't matter if it's light. As long as I can take and, and at, do my trace on those. Trace, and again, when you do the trace, make sure that um, you do the... Um, Try and stay out of the boxed area because you don't want those extra lines in there. Um, let me move this over here because I can't. Um, can I? No, I can't move it over. I'm over as far as it'll go. Hmm. Anyway, um, I leave the high pass on and I bring the high pass up as dark as I can. And trace here, not the outer edge. If you do the outer edge, it's, it's not going to work. You have to do... The entire trace. The trace is perfect. But anyway, um, if you have any questions, let me know. But this is an answer to you folks out there that want to know how to do a screen print. And again, if you're on a PC, it's probably going to print the entire page. But it doesn't matter because if you drag the entire page, if you were in Google, Google search and you did a... Uh, picked out something you did a screen print. Well, however you're going to do it. Whenever you're going to do a screen print, if it shows everything, when you drag it onto your silhouette, just take your knife and cut out. Um, if everything that's on this screen shows, just take your knife and just cut out around your, your image. And um, let me see if that would work. I'm going to cut right through the middle because I don't really, I'm not going to, whoops, I'm not going to use it anyway. But if I had all that other stuff around it, I just cut it all away. And then just have my image again, and I can pull it as large as I need it to be. And anything, let's say this was the top of my program that I was working on, I can cut it. So there you go. Again, um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you and have a good night. Bye-bye.